I'm about to say it. I was wrong. What am I talking about? Hospitals on TikTok. So during the pandemic, when everyone was using TikTok all the time because there was like literally nothing else to do except puzzles and make sourdough bread, I didn't really see a future for hospitals on TikTok. I thought it was really teenagers doing funny dances and, you know, creating video memes. But I think I made the same mistake that I'm always talking about not making, which is defining content as information, format, and distribution. So the information is what are you trying to communicate to your audience? The format is what does it fit best into depending on their needs? So could it be copy? Could it be audio? Could it be pictures or infographics? Could it be video? And then what's the distribution channel you use? So when you create a blog post, let's say you might be using a picture or an infographic or some graphic to illustrate the idea that you're trying to communicate and then copy below it. When you're creating a video, let's say for YouTube, it might be the more standard long form video content that we're used to. But on TikTok, it's this short form, fast video with you know captions and headings and things like that. And I think that hospitals are seeing this tremendous opportunity to be able to use this channel, which is really a distribution channel for short form video, which has become a really great way to communicate with audiences and sort of fits in with what audiences need now, I think, which is because they have shorter attention spans, these quicker videos are somewhat valuable to them. I think that pediatric hospitals are also seeing a lot of success with using TikTok because kids may show these to their parents. TikTok videos often find themselves over to Instagram and on Reels, so parents may be seeing them there too. So I think that hospitals on TikTok was definitely something I was wrong about, but listen, let me tell you something. It is smart to put short form video on TikTok and it is smart to put it on Instagram Reels. And I think that leaning into what your, where your audience is and what they're looking for, particularly health information, which is so valuable to them, is a great way to do marketing and content. And I am not going to predict that B2B healthcare businesses will not be on TikTok because who knows what's gonna happen next. I'll see you next time.